Welcome everyone to the announcement video for season two of the Elite Battle League. It is I, Lonely Hermit, once again here to guide you into the Elite Battle League. I'm sure you love my silky smooth voice, so I'm back again. I'm so excited to be bringing this video to you and to get right into it, uh, we're going to be starting with the mostest, funnestest part of anything in the whole wide world, the rules. Yay. To get started with the rules, each team was only allowed to draft nine Pokemon with the knowledge that all nine of those Pokemon needed to be used in the regular season. Each team was only allowed one legendary Pokemon in its base form, so no Kieran Black or Therian form Landorus shenanigans, uh, and was only allowed one pseudo legendary or one Ultra Beast. They had to choose between one or the other. You can have both. And of course, no mythicals, so none of that Arceus creator Pokemon shenanigans, none of that. Uh, there are no held items in this league for any reason just to keep it simple and straight to the point The ten teams in the league are split into two divisions Those two divisions being the Dynamax division and the Mega division with with each team facing everyone in their division and having a cross division match By the end of the season the top four teams from each division will move on to the playoffs with two missing out on the playoffs Ooh. All matches will be up on Saturday the upload time does depend on the competitors in that matchup and finally the most important rule of course have fun just have fun with it now let's get into the competitors starting with the friendship division i i'm sorry i mean the mega division Starting off with the first member of the Mega Division and the most positive person in the world, we have Jack Nishin or Julian, the 26-year-old coach of the New Brunswick Nine Tails. He is known for regularly doing a bit of everything from Nuzlocke's multiplayer games to Let's Plays, so on and so forth. And of course, bringing a ton of positivity to the community. Now, moving on to his team for the first pick, he chose the Ice Type Cryogonal. For the second pick, the Electric Dragon Type Zekrom. For the third pick, the Psychic Steel Type Bronzong. For the fourth pick, the Grass Type Tangrowth. For the fifth pick, the Fairy Type Sylveon. For the sixth pick, the Ghost Type Dusk Noir. For the seventh pick, the Poison Dragon Type Jugalji. For the eighth pick, the Normal Type Snorlax. And for the ninth and final pick, the Fire Type Arcanine, the OG Legendary Pokemon. Now, will the might from Jex Cage Lock win? Sorry, Derek. Carry over into the EBL with the return of Snorlax. Seemed to be a good luck charm back then. Maybe it'll help him this season. Our second member in the Mega Division is the first Josh in the league and the 24 year old coach of the Everglade Entes, Foos Ro Dab, a Poketuber who believes in the excellence of others. Foos can be found regularly shiny hunting and opening Pokemon packs. Go to his channel and feed that addiction alongside his solo journeys through Pokemon games. Now, moving on to his team, he chose the ground type Groudon for his first pick. For the second pick, the fire type Torkoal. For the third pick, the water ground type Gastrodon. For the fourth pick, the grass poison type Venusaur. For the fifth pick, the fire ghost type Blacephalon. For the sixth pick, the water electric type Rotom Wash. For the seventh pick, the psychic fighting type Glade. For the eighth pick, the fire rock type Colossal. And for his ninth and final pick, the poison fairy type Galarian. Wheezing now after a strong performance in season one where he proved to be an incredibly formidable foe Forming the great wall of Everglade will Foos be able to push himself to new heights this season Moving on to the 20 year old coach of the Los Angeles Inferno or LA Inferno for short Yours surely the second Josh aka the lonely Hermit right here on my channel. You may or may not have already noticed uh, primarily Pokemon Nuzlocke runs here as that is the type of content I find the most fun. Now, I am not an interesting person at all, so let's move on to the team. Uh, <laughs> I really sell my channel so well. Anyways, my first pick was the Rock Dark type Tyranitar. My second pick was the Ground Flying type Landorus. For the third pick, the Ground type Hippowdon. For the fourth pick, the Fire Electric type Rotom Heat. For the fifth pick, the Water Dragon type Dracovish. For the sixth pick, the Steel Flying type Corviknight. For the seventh pick, the Water Ground type Swampert. For the eighth pick, the Ice Ground type Mamoswine. And for the ninth and final pick, the Grass type 
Leafion, and another season, another weather team. Last season, we saw the Drizzle team with the Chicago Score Buddies. Rest in peace, wherever you are, Crobats. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this time around, though, we see a Sand team instead of a Drizzle team that has some heavy hitters, and if handled right, probably not by me, can do some big damage. The penultimate competitor in the Mega Division is handsome and funny and so good at video games. The 27 year old coach of the Kentucky Kinglers, Derek, AKA Always More Videos. Uh, on his channel, he has a primary focus on Pokemon and Call of Duty and pretty much any Switch or PS4 games in general. He is a happily married man. And with that being said, this season he is looking to better his understanding of battling and improve where he landed last season now let's take a look at his team for the first pick we have the dragon flying type salamence for the second pick the reigning season mvp the fire type cinderace for his third pick the steel grass type Ferrothorn. for his fourth pick the ghost fairy type mimikyu for his fifth pick the bug flying type ninjask for his sixth pick the water fairy type primarina for his seventh pick the fairy flying type togekiss for his eighth pick the steel dragon type dialga for his ninth pick the poison psychic type glare and slow king somehow somehow derek was allowed another powerhouse team which includes like i mentioned last season's mvp cinderace now can he better utilize this team and rise above the third place spot he kept finding himself in last season the next and final competitor in the Mega Division is the 18-year-old coach of the Iowa Incineroar Inferno Man. The youngest competitor in the league, Landon primarily focuses on Pokemon content on his channel. He can also be found spending 10 years trying to make a legendary Pokemon shine. With him going to college for digital media, you definitely want to keep an eye out on his channel as it is just going to be getting better and better. Now moving on to his team. For the first pick, surprise, surprise, he chose the Fire Dark type Incineroar. For his second pick, the Ice type Vanillax. For his third pick, the Fighting Flying type Halucha. For his fourth pick, the Electric Psychic type Alolan Raichu. For his fifth pick, the Water Fighting type Polyrath. For his sixth pick, the Water Ground type Quagsire. For his seventh pick, the Steel Bug type Scizor. For his eighth pick, the Dark Dragon type Guzzlord. And for his ninth and final pick, the Psychic Fairy type Tapu Lele. This is an interesting team to say the least with quite a bit of diversity that could prove to be a big challenge for opponents who have to go against this team. Now, also being surrounded by some of his favorite Pokemon, Incineroar, Vanilla, Axolotl, and Raichu may bring Landon some extra luck this season. Now moving on to the Dynamax division, we have the first member of this division who holds a few titles, reigning champion, veteran, another Josh, technically, and my number one fan, the coach of the Miami Dragonite's Umberto, aka Guaneco Gaming. He's currently a part of his first Nuzlocke series, a trade lock soul link with Stone Family 64 that you should absolutely check out, and can regularly be found playing Zelda, specifically Breath of the Wild, and Assassin's Creed. Now, on to the reigning champs team for his first pick he chose the bug fighting type Feramosa. for his second pick he chose the steel fairy type zassian for his third pick the rock type dusk form lichen rock for his fourth pick the water type inteleon for his fifth pick the fire flying type charizard for his sixth pick the rock bug type shuckle for his seventh pick the grass fairy type whimsicott for his eighth pick the grass type rillaboom and for his ninth and final pick the ice dark type weavile the current playoff mvp or championship mvp whatever the return of a couple of pokemon on his team proved that guanaco knows what he's doing and will most certainly remain one of the favorites going into this season now the question is can he replicate his strong performances from season one to get back to the championship match Next up, we have one of the trolliest trolls around who's got it out for our reigning champ, the coach of the Redwood Meows Forsaken Ace. He doesn't have much content rolling out right now, but you'll be seeing some big plays soon enough in the Elite Battle League. Now, on to his team. For his first pick, he took the Fire Flying type Ho-Oh. For his second pick, the Bug Fighting type Buzzwool. For his third pick, the Grass type Serena. For his fourth pick, the Grass Poison type Amoongus. For his fifth pick, the normal type Meowth. For his sixth pick, the water poison type Tentacruel. For his seventh pick, the electric dragon type Dracozolt. 
for his eighth pick, the Water Ice type Walrein, and for his ninth and final pick, the Water Flying type Cramorant. Now, going with the memes, Ace actually took in what was probably the most surprising pick in the draft he actually took his mascot took meowth uh which is gonna be very interesting to see how meowth performs this season now will he be able to troll his way to victory and annoy his opponents to losses moving on to the proud leader of the wolf pack we have the 24 year old coach of the philadelphia flygons carlos aka i lone wolf he can be found more so on twitch playing pokemon specifically hunting this weird looking uh legendary rock and playing call of duty now on to his team first up we have the fairy type xerneas for the second pick, we have the Steel Flying type Celesteela. For third pick, we have the Water type Milotic. For his fourth pick, the Normal type Blissey. For his fifth pick, the Grass Ghost type Decidueye. For his sixth pick, the Fire type Darmanitan. For his seventh pick, the Poison Dark type Drapion. For his eighth pick, the Electric Steel type Magnezone. And for his ninth and final pick, the Rock Ground type Rhyperior. With an incredibly tight balance team filled with a few swords and shields, will Wolf be able to avoid any weaknesses and make that his biggest strength? The penultimate member of the Dynamax division, we have the 27 year old coach of the Detroit Luxury Max, AKA Gamer Views. His channel primarily focuses on Pokemon fan games and challenging challenge runs that are definitely challenging. He can also be found at Shiny Hunting Live regularly, as well as occasionally picking up a Yu-Gi-Oh game here or there. Now moving on to his team. For the first pick, we have the Ground Dragon type Zygarde. For the second pick, we have the Rock Steel type Stakataka. For the third pick, we have the Poison Water type Toxapex. For the fourth pick, the Water Ice type Lapras. For the fifth pick, the Steel Ghost type Aegislash. For the sixth pick, the Fire Fighting type Blaziken. For the seventh pick, the Fighting Steel type Lucario. For the eighth pick, the Ground Dragon type Flygon. And for the ninth and final pick, the Grass Poison type Rosary. Now, Max proved to be a very tough competitor with an interesting team last season, but with this big upgrade on the team compared to the team he had last season, can he take it to the next level this season? Last but certainly not least, we have our final member of the Dynamax division and the EBL and the commissioner of the league, the 31 year old coach of the Atlanta Bravery, Matt, aka Maddie Ice, aka the father of the Stone Family 64. On their channel, you'll find multiple games from Pokemon Nuzlocke to Shiny Hunting to Mario games to even Call of Duty over on Twitch. Now, Matt is, a, of course, a proud father of three children and is happily married now moving on to his team we, for the first pick we have the grass steel type kartana for the second pick the ground steel type excadrill that he stole from me for the third pick the ground type sandaconda for the fourth pick the ice fairy type below the nine tails for the fifth pick the ghost ice type frostlass for the sixth pick is the poison ground type needle king for the seventh pick the water fairy type azumarill for the eighth pick the dark type absol and for the ninth and final pick the psychic dragon type latios will embracing his least favorite pokemon allow matt to overcome any sort of obstacle he'll face this season and can he potentially return to the championship match alongside one echo to claim what he missed out on last season and that's that ladies and gentlemen that's a wrap on another season announcement after an amazing first season i hope you're all ready for this upcoming season which is kicking off on october 2nd you can get ready for the season by checking out all the coaches and their socials down in the description below but of course just have fun with the league and get hyped for the start of the new season i hope everyone has a fantastic day and we will see you on october 2nd